Yeah, hi, this is Dave Dukasen again. Uh, haven't had a machine on YouTube for a while, but I, I built a scratch-built machine here. It's, uh, I call it the UMC-10, the UMC-10 Upright Machining Center. And uh, it's, it has linear ways, it's a weldment. And uh, some of the, this is the, uh, the ways, linear ways, they're, they're virtually friction-free. So when you assemble your, your table, I mean, you can literally move that table around without screws just with your palms or your hands. Uh, it has a three horsepower uh, uh, vector driven spindle, has an air blast through the, the spindle to blow chips off, eight tool tool changer, it has a uh, 6,500 RPM spindle speed, and uh, uh, some of the unique things about it is that they have, we have stainless steel, brushed stainless steel weight covers, and the Y axis weight cover goes right through the saddle. So it's really kind of a unique, it's kind of a scaled down version of Fidel's uh, uh, VMC-15. It, uh, but it's very rugged little machine with the uh, spindle orientation. And uh, it's about a seven second tool change. And, uh, and the chip guards are working really good. As you can see, I've been making parts on this machine. And uh, I'm ready to run one if you want to see it. So we'll just... Uh, Hit G code and start. Okay. Uh, first, we're going to drill four holes. They're quarter inch holes. The material on this part is uh, one inch thick, six and three quarters long, and four inches wide. And uh, we'll be cutting right through that part with a half inch end mill uh, at 4,500 RPM and a 10 inch feed rate. And you'll see how nice it cuts. <clears throat> this is what the part will look like when it's finished. I like that. It's actually a part that I use on the small go-karts that I built. It's called the clutch housing. <clears throat> We're using a G83 PEC cycle here. A G83 PEC cycle. And uh, uh, we're, we're going about five and a half inches a minute. And uh, the Q, Q in there, is, uh, which is the depth of cut, is uh, 100,000. It takes about 13 minutes, but uh, we'll clip off some of this stuff. We'll show all the things that are more interesting for you. Right now, it's running at uh, 3,000 RPM, you can see here, and a feed rate of five and a half inches a minute. Five and a half inches a minute feed rate in uh, 3,000 RPM. Now what's nice about this control, if you wanted to, you just touch here, and you can speed that up. Here it's speed up, and you can slow it back down to three. Or you can take it all the way up to 6,500 if you want. <laughs> yeah. Why it's noisy is this, this motor is a enclosed motor, drip proof, so it has a fan up here. So, so this motor, when this spindle's going 6,500, this motor is going almost 11,000 RPM. Now you'll hear the air blast when it, it comes over here, blows the chips off the tools. It, uh, it's a nice little machine. Uh, the column is made out of six inch square chromoly tubing with a half inch wall. And the uh, base or the bed of the machine is uh, a 10 inches by four inch chromoly tubing with a half inch wall. And uh, I did all the machining of it on my uh, VMC 15. It has a door. The door really works good. You can see you can see the chips on here. It keeps it keeps them in, in te inside there. Now this uh, <clears throat> end mill I'm using is a hog mill that'll, that'll cut clear through this part, one inch of aluminum and contour all the way around the thing. And these 
extra pieces all fall off. But it, it's 4,500 with a 10 inch feed rate. It, it showers the chips out there pretty good. This is the tap. Now, this is a floating tap holder. It's got a little compression in, uh, since this isn't a rigid tapping, but it, it does very good. I mean, you can hold a very accurate depth. We're tapping here at uh, 500 RPM. It uh, really taps something nice. You can put a plug gauge in there if you want. And go a no-go gauge. I use a bolt. Oh, yeah, that's all you're really concerned about. All right, so now she's going to get the half-inch. <coughs> excuse me, three-flute uh, hog mill. This really uh, rips it off of there. You'll see here in a second. There's 4,500. Let me, you may have to come over here, Brad. <clears throat> I gotta close this door. Now you'll see the piece, pieces start to come off of there. That's 10 inches speed rate. The three horsepower motor, I, I did originally have a one and a half, but the uh, three horsepower motor really makes the difference. I mean, she's got some guts now. This little machine is really stir a sturdy little machine. These are the tool holders. This is a tool holder for a, uh, a double angle 200 collet, but uh, it has the R8 taper, got a pull stud, and a, and a, a v, uh, cat V flange here uh, to uh, uh, hold the tools. And of course, the tools are keyed because of the spindle orientation, so your tools always go back in the spindle at the same position. Now, I have these in stock. I have about 30 of each tool size from uh, uh, 3 16 all the way up to 3 quarters of an inch. Uh, with a Jacobs taper and, uh, and a boring bar holder. So that. You're going to see this big piece fall off here in a minute. <clears throat> you got to watch that they didn't, don't get behind your uh, uh, saddle there. You can hear there's no vibration, nothing. I mean, it's a, this is a rock solid little machine. There, it's, now it's going 20 inches a minute. I kick it up there. I slow it down when it makes this uh, big plunge here, to about 10 inches a minute. That's the end of the roughing tool. Now we'll get a uh, three flute, two half inch end mill, just a regular end mill, and we'll, uh, we'll, we'll contour both surfaces again to get, to get rid of the uh, lines from the hog mill. Uh, machine is not a toy. It could be used as a as full production. Uh, and uh, I've ran these before on my VMC 15, and this thing takes about the same time. Little guy looking down there at the uh, pulley. And the... now we're going to uh, we've got a 3 8 diameter tool with a 45, and we're gonna we're gonna put a uh, 
a chamfer all around the top of the part, break the edge. This is 6,000 RPM and a 30 inch speed radio. Puts that chamfer around there. That old computer is doing a lot of thinking with that software. Woo! Spitting out pulses like crazy. Alright, that's the end of that tool. Get a little dwell in there to make sure the spindle stops. Now we uh now we put the fly cutter in there. And that's one of the advantages of having orientation. See that fly cutter can hang back in there. And uh, it's going 2,000 RPM. It's quite a bit out of balance. Uh, and it's got a 10 inch feed rate. You, you could slow it down, get a better feed, feed rate if you wanted, but. Uh, it's taking off about 10,000. It's a fun machine, and I, I love it, uh, making stuff, design stuff, making it. Oh, man, doesn't get any better than that. Like I always say, I, I have fun, but I don't make money. <laughs> so that's it. So she's going to go to the back, store this tool, and get tool number one. And, uh, there's tool one right there. Blast. Comes on, blows the chips off, and that's it. Finished part. Machine by, made by David DeCosson. I have two of these, actually three of them. I have one in my home in Malibu, and uh, this one here, this is a Scottsdale machine. This is the second one I built. The original is, uh, is back in uh, Malibu, and I have one more that put together. But it took me from the time my first conception uh, Draw my first line in my CAD system until the actual uh, running machine it took me about eight weeks, six to eight weeks, something like that. But uh, a lot of fun, you know. The uh, table is made out of a inch and a half by eight inch uh, cold roll steel, and uh, machined it on my VMC 15, my Fidel. But uh, is this the VMC 15 right here? Yeah. Can we take a look? <coughs> sure. And there it is, sitting there. She's a good machine. But it's it's a scaled down copy. It has all the same features that Fidel, that, that has the, the through the uh, saddle uh, uh, weight cover. This is a 95 machine. It's funny, I bought this uh, soon after I sold Fidel. And uh, the guys that bought Fidel, my brother asked me if I wanted to take the machine home with me, you know, while we were the owners of the company. I said, nah, I'll never need a machine. Well, three months later, I decided I'd buy one, you know, so I did. And uh, they said they'd give me a deal on it. But the deal was they weren't going to pay the, the salesman commission. And I thought, well, that ain't fair, you know, so, so I paid full price for it. So anyways. For your own machine. Yeah, yeah. All right, that's it. That's all. From, Dave DeCoss, and for now, until we have something new for you. But uh, I've enjoyed, you know, showing you my creation. Bye now. <coughs> All right, that's good.